Hey everybody, welcome back to my tutorials on Android Framework Components Part 5. By the way, this is Dimple here. So in this tutorial, we'll go through Android Resource Manager Framework. So let's get started. What is Resource Manager? Resource Manager provides access to non-code resources such as localized strings, graphics, and layout files. Resources are nothing but they are external files that are used by your code and compiled in your applications at build time. So, Android supports a number of different kinds of resource files including XML, PNG, JPEG, bitmaps, strings, animations, etc. So they are nothing but they are additional files and static content that your application code uses. And all these resources are managed in RES directory. You have to always externalize your application resources such as images and strings from your code so that they can be maintained independently. We will better understand about these uh, through this example. So in this application, we can see there is RES directory. There are different resources, drawable, layout, map, map, raw values, menu, etc. So this drawable contains all the animations or all the images you use in your application. So for example, I have one JPEG file under this drawable. So all the images you use in your application come under drawable layout. Layout file contains or includes the entire layout which will be displayed when your application is installed for example you can see here hello world so when your application get installed this simple layout will be displayed and this map map includes all the launcher icons when your application is launched so all the launcher icons of your choice can be present in this map map folder raw folder includes arbitrary files to be saved in their raw forms so here for example i have one mp3 file uh, which can be used in some of your audio applications and this values include many things colors dimensions strings styles etc so here if i take an example of strings string.xml will include all the text which is displayed in your application by default the language will be english so when you are adding strings to your string.xml you can easily translate your entire application into other languages of your choice so that is one of the advantage of strings.xml So next we'll see how to access these resources. So every resource in your application will have an unique ID. Once you provide a resource in your application, you can apply it by refreshing its resource ID. All the resources are identified in your project's R class, which apt tool will automatically generate. So when your application is compiled, apt will generate R class which contains resource IDs for all the resources in your RES directory. For each type of resource, there is an R subclass. Uh, if I take example, there is an R subclass called drawable and for each type under that drawable or for each file under that drawable, there is a unique uh, resource id so this integer is resource id that you can use to retrieve your resources for example you all can see drawable folder under drawable folder i have android.jpg one file so if i have four to five files each files will have a unique id that is what it is meant in the previous slide so this R class is where all the resource IDs are specified. So all the resource types, the resource name, the file name, attributes, everything will be there. For every attribute, there will be a resource ID in this R class. So here I will show an example of R class. So this is R class for every attribute, for every type of the resource, whatever you use, there will be an unique ID which is provided in this R class. Then these are the ways to access a resource using a code. So in your code, you can use 
through static integer r for example button button find view by id or r is acting as a static integer in xml one more way is through xml file so for example at the rate string slash hello here everything corresponds to resource id is defined in your r class then there are two types of resources default resources and alternative resources so default resources are all your animation layout xml files which will be executed by default if you have not specified any alternate resources in your application and all these alternate resources uh, can be included if you want a specific configuration in your application for example you want your application to to be displayed in a different language for example french or chinese or spanish and you are not interested in landscape view you are interested in portrait view and you want your application to be uh, running on high density pixel screen so all these configurations all these specific configurations you can provide in your um alternative resources so uh, for example i'll show you alternative resources here i have included my uh, values hyphen french see i am interested in launching my application in french language so i have included french strings dot xml you all can see the french flag here and i am interested in getting uh, or displaying image in high density pixel screen so i can include drawable hyphen hdpi or ldpi mdpi or anything so whatever is my interest whatever is my specific com uh, configuration for my application i can include all these become alternative resources for example imagine you are developing an application and these are the three uh, resources that are uh, being used so by default uh, the first lines are all my default default uh, resources so strings is there logo is there main is there and here i have de defined uh, for french language chinese language for low density pixel screen medium density pixel screen high density pixel screens so if your device uh, supports landscape mode and if your device supports hdpi and you are wishing your application to be in chinese language and if you have added all these external alternative resources in your applications resource manager will be smart enough to load all these required resources to your application so android platform has a very robust mechanism for loading the appropriate resources at run time you you have to just define them in your application and you have to leave everything to the resource manager everything will be taken care if your device supports landscape and hdpi resource manager will take the responsibility of displaying in that particular mode so this is all about your resource manager hope you all enjoyed it please stay tuned in with my next videos to learn more about android framework thank you